Hey guys, in this quick Excel in 60 second video, I'm going to show you today how you can use the calculate option that is available under the formula section to basically freeze your calculation or not update your calculation unless you manually tell it to update. So this kind of can be used if you have large data sets and you don't want to have it bogged down every time you actually update your raw data. So this is one way to do it. Um, so let's have a peek. So the first thing that I've done here is I have over on the right hand side in my transaction amount is some if formula that's actually looking at all of our transaction data and calculating and giving me a summary of each of the individual GL accounts. So now if I head over to my formulas tab, what I'm going to do is on my worksheet, I'm going to set it to be a manual calculation so that anytime something changes, uh, essentially we need to go in here and actually update and calculate the sheet or recalculate the sheet instead of it automatically updating. So if we head over to our transaction data set and I were to update something underneath uh, the advertising and promotion um, transaction data set, if I just add this and I make this, let's just say 10,000 or even 100,000, and I head back over to my transaction summary, you'll see that my advertising and promotion summary hasn't actually updated, even though I have a formula that should be technically calculating that. So if I now just hit calculate sheet, you'll see that now it has updated automatically. Now if we turn this option off, and I go back, and we see that this is 106,000 right now, and I go back over here, and I change this to, let's just say $50, and I hit enter and then we go back to our transaction summary you'll see that it automatically updates so that calculate option what it's doing is it's allowing your data set to either be calculated manually um, and that saves your workbook a lot of time if you're adding a lot of data into a data set and you have a lot of formulas working in your spreadsheet you can actually freeze that and calculate it whenever you want so that's a great option and that's available under the formula section so if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave your questions or comments below uh, I appreciate you checking this out, and I do believe that I'm way over that minute mark today, but uh, I think it was important for me to go over it. So, thanks. We'll see you next time.